technology has come a long way in the last 20 or so years. You certainly couldn't edit patches on your pod using a Nokia. We have things like guitar pedals, uh, mixing desks, you know, multi-effects, and you basically cannot edit any of the parameters without syncing it to some uh, external device. Having app connectivity is maybe reducing the usable lifespan of these products. So if you take my iPhone 5 as an example here, uh, that's an old phone now, it was given to me a few years back, and uh, more and more I'm finding that certain apps will no longer function with that device because I can't update the iOS past a certain point. I, I stopped being able to update it about a year ago. So this is obviously talking about uh, future-proofing an item. You can't uh, make something forwards compatible. You don't know what the technology of the future is going to be and you wouldn't have the technology to uh, facilitate that connection at the time. Otherwise, it would be current technology, not future technology, obviously. What I'm saying is the software and the method of connection will be rendered obsolete before the use-by date of the hardware. And if you remove the operating system, the hardware becomes nothing but junk. Then think about connections and cabling. We're on sort of USB as a, uh, a global standard right now, but also think how many different forms of USB there are, and how many different adapters you have for all the different shapes. Do you still think that they're going to be a thing in 20 years' time? Bluetooth used to be a thing. It might still be a thing, but we seem to be on Wi-Fi at the moment. Is Wi-Fi still going to exist in 20 years' time? I find that to be highly unlikely. I think it's even more unlikely that the manufacturers will continue to update the apps. Uh, why would you do that? You know, why would you have a considerable uh, monetary investment and manpower investment in uh, supporting a legacy product? You know, in 30 years' time, the person that owns whatever device it is you originally made probably bought it second or third hand. So you haven't made any money from them whatsoever and your job would be to upsell them on the latest and greatest whatever. So I find it highly unlikely that you're going to continue to update these apps so that these, these legacy products can still function. Whilst this is just a drop in the ocean of the 50 million tons of e-waste that we produce every year, it is technology manufacturers embraced across many other markets, resulting in a constant cycle of updating both the device and its respective controller. Only around 20% of yesterday's discarded tech gets recycled, a process itself not without its ecological implications. Everything eventually gets superseded, but to avoid the waste of built-in obsolescence, I think the future is embracing the best of digital sound and practicality, but giving it full analog control. Of course, we knew that back in 1999.